Hey there, fellow dog lovers. We treat our dogs like family. We get it. That bond is real. We can practically read their minds, right? But have you ever wondered if they do the same with us? Can our furry friends actually sense what we're feeling? It's like an unspoken language, a knowing glance that says, I know you're feeling down. But is it all in our heads? Or is there something more to this dog-human connection? We always knew dogs were in tune with us, but now science is catching up. Get ready to dive into the fascinating world of canine empathy. For years, we've relied on anecdotes and gut feelings. My dog just knows when I'm sad. And you know what? Those stories might actually hold some truth. Researchers have been digging deep, conducting studies, and the results are pretty amazing. Turns out dogs have some seriously impressive ways of tapping into our emotional states. We're talking sight, smell, hearing, the whole sensory package. These aren't just random dog senses. They're finely tuned instruments picking up on our every feeling. Buckle up because we're about to break down exactly dogs become masters of human emotion. Get ready to see your dog's abilities in a whole new light. We'll be your guides on this journey into the canine mind, exploring the science behind their emotional intelligence. Get ready for some aha moments as we uncover the secrets of your dog's incredible empathy. Let's get started. Ever get the feeling you're being watched? Well, if you've got a dog, you probably are. And they're not just admiring your impeccable fashion sense. Dogs are masters of observation, especially when it comes to their humans. Think about it. Our faces are like giant mood rings for dogs. We furrow our brows when we're concentrating, our eyes light up when we're happy, and let's not forget the infamous stink eye when someone's in trouble. Usually the dog, let's be honest. Dogs have learned to pick up on these subtle and not so subtle cues. They've become experts at reading our facial expressions, connecting the dots between a crinkled nose and a disapproving tone. Now, we're not saying dogs have a human emotions dictionary tucked away in their doggy brains, but they don't need one. Over centuries of coevolution, dogs have developed an intuitive understanding of our emotional landscape. They've zeroed in on the big six anger, fear, happiness, sadness, surprise, and even disgust, usually reserved for that questionable treat you tried to sneak them. They've learned that each emotion comes with its own unique facial blueprint. But here's the really cool part. Dogs don't just these emotions, they to them. Their own heart rates and behaviors shift in sync with our moods. It's like an emotional dance, a silent conversation between two species. You know that feeling you get when you're down and your dog just seems to, to snuggle up next to you? That's not a coincidence. Studies have shown that dogs are particularly attuned to negative emotions like sadness and fear. They pick up on our slumped shoulders, our downturned mouths, even the way our voices crack when we're holding back tears. And their response is pure empathy. They offer comfort, a warm body to lean on, a wet nose to nudge away a tear. It's like they're saying, I may not understand what's wrong, but I'm here for you. And in that moment, those sad puppy dog eyes looking up at you are all the therapy you need. All right, let's talk about that superpower dogs have, the one that makes them walking, tail-wagging, sniff machines. We all know dogs love a good sniff, but their sense of smell goes way beyond just appreciating the aroma of freshly baked bacon. Though, let's be real, they love that too. We're talking about an olfactory system so sophisticated, it can detect changes in our body chemistry that we humans are totally oblivious to. You know that subtle shift in your scent when you're stressed or anxious? Yeah, your dog clocked that ages ago. It's like they have a built-in mood detector, constantly scanning the air for those telltale chemical signals we're sending out. And the craziest part, they don't even need to be right up in your business to get a read on your emotional state. So, how does this whole scent emotion connection work? Well, when we experience strong emotions, whether it's the joy of acing a presentation or the frustration of being stuck in traffic, our bodies release a cocktail of hormones. Think of it like an emotional perfume, with each feeling having its own unique signature scent. And just like a sommelier can sniff out the subtle notes in a fine wine, dogs can detect these subtle hormonal shifts in our sweat, breath, even our tears. Now, we're not saying your dog has a PhD in human endocrinology, but they've become experts at recognizing the patterns. 
they've learned that that particular stressed out scent usually means you need some extra cuddles on the couch. Researchers have actually put this whole scent thing to the test. In one study they exposed dogs to sweat samples collected from people who were either feeling happy or scared. The results? The dogs showed clear behavioral differences. When they sniffed the happy sweat they were more relaxed and playful. But when they got a whiff of the fear, sweat, you guessed it, their stress levels spiked. They became more agitated, their heart rates increased and some even showed signs of fear themselves. This tells us something pretty remarkable. Dogs aren't just responding to our outward cues, they're tapping into our internal emotional landscape, picking up on those invisible changes that we're not even aware of ourselves. Ever notice how your dog perks up at the sound of your voice, even from across the house? It's not just because they recognize your dulcet tones, though you are a fabulous singer, no doubt. Dogs have become expert eavesdroppers, fine-tuning their hearing to pick up on the nuances of human speech. But it goes beyond just recognizing words. Dogs have cracked the code of emotional intonation, that subtle rise and fall of our voices that betrays our true feelings, even when we're trying hard to keep a poker face. Think about it. A cheerful good morning sounds completely different from a weary, I need more coffee. Dogs have learned to differentiate between these subtle vocal cues, connecting the dots between a high-pitched squeal of delight and a playful game of fetch. Now you might be thinking, my dog doesn't understand English. How can they possibly know what I'm saying? And you're right. They might not be fluent in our language, but they are fluent in the language of emotion. They've learned that a happy voice usually means good things are coming their way, treats, belly rubs, maybe even a walk in the park. On the flip side, a stern tone of voice usually signals that they've pushed their luck a little too far with that forbidden chew toy. But here's the real kicker. Dogs don't just rely on their ears alone. They've mastered the art of multi-sensory integration, combining what they hear with what they see to get the full picture of our emotional state. Remember those studies we talked about earlier where dogs could sniff out human emotions based on scent alone? Well, researchers took it a step further and added a sound element to the mix. They played recordings of human voices expressing different emotions, happy, sad, angry, while simultaneously presenting the dogs with images of human faces expressing those same emotions. The results? Dogs were significantly more likely to pay attention when the facial expressions and vocal tones matched. This tells us that dogs aren't just relying on one sense at a time. They're taking in information from all of their senses, analyzing it like a detective piecing together a puzzle to create a comprehensive understanding of our emotional state. So far we've explored how dogs are practically hardwired to understand human emotions, but this incredible ability goes beyond just being in tune with their favorite humans. It's actually the foundation for something truly extraordinary, their work as service dogs. We're not just talking about fetching slippers or looking adorable in tiny vests, though they definitely excel at both. Service dogs are highly trained partners, providing essential support and assistance to people with disabilities. And guess what plays a crucial role in their ability to do this life-changing work? You got it. Their exceptional emotional intelligence. It's like they have a sixth sense for knowing when their human needs a paw to hold or a calming presence by their side. Let's talk about autism assistance dogs for a moment. These incredible canines are trained to support individuals on the autism spectrum, helping them navigate a world that can often feel overwhelming. And one of their most important roles, you guessed it, being emotional detectives. Remember how we talked about dogs being attuned to changes in our scent, heart rate, and even our breathing? Well, they use these superpowers to anticipate and respond to meltdowns or sensory overload in their autistic partners. Imagine this, a child starts to feel overwhelmed by the noise and crowds at a busy shopping mall. Their autism assistance dog senses this shift in their emotional state long before any visible signs of distress appear. The dog might nudge their handler's hand, gently lean into them for deep pressure stimulation, or even offer a calming lick on the face, all subtle cues to help ground the child and prevent a full-blown meltdown.
Now let's shine the spotlight on another group of heroic helpers, FASD assistance dogs. These furry companions are trained to work with individuals living with fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, FASD. People with FASD often face challenges with emotional regulation, sensory processing, and impulse control. And just like with autism assistance dogs, emotional intelligence is a cornerstone of their training. FASD assistance dogs learn to recognize the subtle signs that their handler might be struggling, increased anxiety, agitation, or even difficulty focusing, and they're trained to intervene with specific learned behaviors to help their handler manage these challenges. For example, if a handler starts to experience sensory overload and engages in repetitive behaviors, their FASD assistance dog might gently interrupt the behavior by placing a paw on their lap or offering a comforting nudge. It's all about providing a grounding presence and helping the handler regain a sense of calm and control. Okay, we've covered some seriously impressive stuff about dogs and their emotional superpowers, but what if you're not in need of a service dog? Can a regular, everyday pup still bring some of that emotional magic into your life? The answer, my friends, is a resounding yes. Adopting a dog might not come with a fancy vest or a list of specialized commands, but it does come with a whole host of benefits for your mental and emotional well-being. We're talking about the kind of feel-good vibes that can make you want to burst into spontaneous song. Just me? Think of it like having a furry, four-legged therapist living rent-free under your roof. Intrigued? Let's dive into the positive world of dog ownership. Let's be real life can throw some curveballs, jobs, relationships, that weird stain on your shirt you can't seem to get rid of, it can all add up. But amidst the chaos, there's one constant source of pure, unadulterated love, your dog. We're talking about the kind of love that doesn't judge, the kind that greets you with a wagging tail and a shower of slobbery kisses no matter what kind of day you've had. It's the kind of love that reminds you even on your worst day that you're still worthy of affection and joy. And science backs this up. Studies have shown that spending time with our furry companions can actually lower our stress levels, reduce blood pressure, and boost those feel-good hormones like oxytocin. So the next time you're feeling down, just remember a good cuddle session with your dog might be the best medicine. Ever feel like your life is one giant to-do list, constantly buzzing with deadlines and obligations? Yeah, us too. But here's where dogs come in, like those little notification bells on your phone, reminding you to slow down and embrace the simple things. Dogs thrive on routine. They love their walks, their meal times, their designated cuddle spots on the couch. And because of this, they naturally introduce structure into our often chaotic lives. Think about it. You can't exactly hit the snooze button when your furry alarm clock is pawing at your face demanding breakfast. And that evening walk? It becomes a non-negotiable part of your day, a chance to step away from the screens, get some fresh air, and bond with your furry best friend. So there you have it, folks. Our furry friends are even more amazing than we thought. They're masters of sniffing out treats and reading us, understanding our emotions. Dogs use their noses to smell our chemical changes. They see our facial changes, those little twitches and smiles, and their incredible ears, picking up on our voice tones, knowing when we're excited or just trying to get them off the couch. This deep emotional connection makes dogs incredible companions. Service dogs, sensing and responding to our emotions are changing lives. But even if you don't have a service dog, chances are your own furry friend has a sixth sense for knowing when you need a cuddle or a playful distraction. Ever have a rough day and find your dog curled up at your feet offering silent comfort? Yeah, that's not a coincidence. That's pure, unconditional love and empathy, served up with a side of tail wags. And that's what's so special about dogs. They don't judge, they don't hold grudges, well, maybe for like five minutes if you took away that delicious smelling sock. They just love us, flaws and all. They remind us to enjoy the simple things, to live in the moment, to greet each day with enthusiasm or at least the promise of a treat. So yeah, the science is cool, but honestly, we didn't need scientists to tell us what we already knew in our hearts. Dogs are amazing intuitive creatures who enrich our lives in countless ways. So, the next time you're feeling down, remember your dog is right there with you, feeling every emotion. 
They might not solve your problems, but they'll remind you that you're loved and supported. Because at the end of the day, it's about that deep, unspoken connection. So go ahead, give your dog a big hug.